Project Ove is a 170 meter version of me as a building. Andrew's eureka moment came as he looked at an image of the Amor Pacific HQ building in South Korea. He realised that stripped back, the building looked as if it had veins and a skeleton. I think within about half an hour or so, we decided that, yes, it could probably work. You can see in the ducts, pipes and cable trays, the veins, arteries, nervous system of the buildings. The circulatory system in the bodies, your heart has the same system in a building to pump up water around the building. It has an electrical system full of sensors, which is your nervous system. It has the air system, which is your respiratory system. These are the sorts of things we tried to replicate from a BIM point of view as a human body model that was actually a functioning building. The next step was to bring Project Ove to life. Andrew pitched the idea to Autodesk University in the hope of being given a chance to present it to the industry. When his concept to create a towering BIM-driven building modelled on himself was accepted, the team had seven weeks to complete the task. There were three primary aims for the project at all times. One was keep the building's geometry as true to the human anatomy as possible. Two was to use only processes that we could reuse on real projects. And three was to make all of those processes as efficient and as automated as possible. So one input would drive as many outputs as we can. One source of truth that could be relied upon for engineering calculations and coordination reassurance simultaneously. To me, the definition of what a building information model should be. It's good to be able to demonstrate to the rest of the Arab group that if they're working directly as a single source of information with their external architects, with their external engineers and other parties, that this is actually the benefits that they could get. To. Through our means of funding R&D and our culture of being somewhat philosophical and a little bit creative, they were all things that supported the creation of the project itself. It's turned out to be much more useful and has much more longevity than we thought it'd ever have. It displays everything about engineering and architecture that the Arab are involved in and the Arab are good at. And I'm not sure that many other companies could have achieved what we've achieved internally within Arab, around the world and amongst the industry as well. For a chance to engage with Project Ove and to access some of Arab's free BIM tools, go to arab.com slash projectove.